Have you ever wondered what makes New York one of the most visited cities in the world? The allure of New York is as diverse as the city itself. It's a city that never sleeps, a city of dreams, a city where every culture, every cuisine, and every language has a place. Yes, New York is a city like no other, and its charm is perhaps best encapsulated by its reputation as the world's melting pot. From the streets of Little Italy to the vibrant corners of Chinatown, from the rhythmic beats of Harlem to the eclectic vibes of Greenwich Village, New York, is a city that celebrates diversity. It's a place where you can walk a few blocks and feel like you've traveled the world. But New York's allure doesn't stop at its diversity. The city is steeped in a rich history that has shaped not only the United States, but the world. It's a city that's played host to major historical events, from the drafting of the United Nations Charter to the birth of the Civil Rights Movement. And then, there's New York's iconic status in pop culture. From the silver screen to the pages of classic literature, New York has been immortalized time and time again. It's the city of breakfast at Tiffany's, the city of Friends, the city of Gatsby. It's a city that's inspired countless songs, films, and novels, making it a familiar sight even to those who've never set foot in it. But perhaps what truly sets New York apart is its ability to tell a story at every corner. Each neighborhood, each street, each building has a story to tell. From the grandeur of the Empire State Building to the hustle and bustle of Times Square, from the serene beauty of Central Park to the iconic Statue of Liberty, every corner of New York has a tale to share. New York is more than just a city, it's a world of its own that tells a story at every corner. Our journey through New York's history begins with the Statue of Liberty, a symbol of freedom and democracy. Towering over the New York Harbor, this colossal copper lady has been the city's silent sentinel since her dedication in 1886. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from the people of France, a symbol of friendship between the two nations and a celebration of the ideals they shared. Sculpted by Frederick Auguste Bartholdi and engineered by Gustave Eiffel, the statue stands as a testament to the enduring bonds of international collaboration and shared values. Lady Liberty, as she is affectionately known, holds a torch aloft in her right hand, a beacon of hope illuminating the path to freedom. In her left hand, she carries a tablet inscribed with the date of America's independence in Roman numerals. The broken chains at her feet symbolize the abolition of slavery, a poignant reminder of the nation's struggles and triumphs. Over the years, the Statue of Liberty has become more than just a symbol of freedom and democracy. She has become an emblem of New York and the United States, an icon recognized and revered around the world. For millions of immigrants arriving on American shores, Lady Liberty was the first sight they saw, a welcoming figure promising a new life and new opportunities. In 1984, the statue was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, further cementing her place in global history. Today she stands as a powerful reminder of the ideals that the United States was built upon, freedom, democracy, and the opportunity for all to pursue their dreams. The Statue of Liberty, a beacon of hope and freedom, was the first site for millions of immigrants and continues to welcome visitors from around the world. She stands tall, a symbol of the past, a beacon for the present, and a promise for the future, embodying the spirit of New York and the values that define the United States. Moving on from the harbor, we find ourselves in Central Park, the city's green lung. This lush expanse is more than just a park. It's a living, breathing entity, a vibrant retreat where nature meets urbanity. Central Park is a testament to the artistry of landscape architecture and its legacy dates back to the mid-19th century. In the heart of the bustling metropolis, Central Park was conceived as a refuge, offering New Yorkers a place to escape the city's relentless pace. The park was designed by Frederick Law Olmsted and Calvert Vaux, who won a citywide contest in the late 1850s to create a green lung in the heart of Manhattan. From its inception, Central Park has been a sanctuary for residents and visitors alike, a place to relax, exercise, explore, and simply be. It houses everything from tranquil lakes to bustling recreation areas, a zoo, an ice skating rink, and even a castle. The park is a microcosm of the city itself, teeming with life and energy, yet providing a serene escape from the urban grind. Central Park has also played a crucial role in New York's urban development. With its creation, city planners demonstrated a commitment to balancing the needs of a booming city with the necessity for green spaces. The park not only provides respite, but also contributes to the city's climate resilience, improving air quality, mitigating heat, and supporting biodiversity. Over the years, 
Central Park has become a symbol of New York, immortalized in countless films, TV shows, and works of literature. It's a place of community, where people from all walks of life come together to enjoy the outdoors. It's a place for reflection, where the city's past, present, and future intersect. So, whether you're a New Yorker seeking solace or a tourist exploring the city, Central Park offers a unique blend of nature and city life, a testament to New York's vibrant spirit and enduring charm. Central Park, an oasis amidst the concrete jungle, is a testament to the city's commitment to balance urban life with nature. As we leave the tranquility of Central Park, we plunge into the buzzing heart of the city, Times Square. Named after the New York Times, which moved its headquarters here in the early 20th century, Times Square has seen an incredible transformation over the years. Once a place of horse-drawn carriages and gas lamps, Times Square has evolved into a pulsating hub of digital billboards, Broadway theaters, and bustling crowds. From humble beginnings as Longacre Square, it quickly grew into a center for culture and commerce, setting the pace for the city that never sleeps. The Great White Way, as it was once known, became the birthplace of modern theater, with its first electrified advertisement appearing in the early 1900s. Broadway theaters soon followed, earning Times Square its reputation as the epicenter of American theater. Even during the Great Depression, Times Square remained a beacon of hope, its lights never dimming. In the late 20th century, Times Square went through a period of decline, becoming synonymous with the city's grittier side. But just as New York is ever evolving, so too is Times Square. By the turn of the millennium, it had transformed once again, this time into a family-friendly destination, filled with flagship stores, popular eateries, and the world's most visited tourist attractions. Times Square's significance extends beyond its physical location. It's a symbol of New York's dynamism, mirrored in its ever-changing billboards and the diversity of its crowds. It's a stage where the world's biggest stars perform on New Year's Eve and a canvas for artists like Jenny Holzer, whose words have illuminated its billboards. In popular culture, Times Square is a backdrop for countless films and TV shows, encapsulating the city's vibrant energy and unceasing rhythm. It's a place where dreams take flight, where every corner holds the promise of a new adventure. Times Square, the crossroads of the world, encapsulates the city's vibrant energy and unceasing rhythm. Soaring above the cityscape, the Empire State Building stands as a testament to New York's architectural prowess. A beacon of steel and stone, it marks the heart of the city, a symbol of human ambition reaching for the heavens. Let's take a step back in time, to the Roaring Twenties, when the idea of this monumental structure was first conceived. The Empire State Building was born out of a rivalry between two business titans, John Raskob and Walter Chrysler, each vying to create the tallest building in the world. It's a story as fascinating as the building itself, a tale of competition, ambition, and the relentless pursuit of greatness. Construction began in March of 1930, a project of unprecedented scale. In a testament to human ingenuity, over 3,000 workers toiled day and night, and in just over a year, the building was complete. Standing at a towering 1,453 feet, it was the tallest building in the world, a record it held for nearly four decades. The Empire State Building's impact on New York's skyline cannot be overstated. It has come to define the city, its silhouette instantly recognizable around the globe. It has been featured in countless movies and TV shows, becoming a part of our collective cultural consciousness. It's more than just a building, it's a symbol of New York, a city where dreams are made and the sky is the limit. The building itself is a marvel of engineering and design. From its Art Deco-style lobby to its observatories offering breathtaking views of the city, every inch of the Empire State Building is designed to awe and inspire. From its inception in the throes of a rivalry, through its swift construction amidst the Great Depression, the Empire State Building has stood the test of time. It remains a testament to the city's enduring spirit, its relentless ambition, and its unwavering belief in the power of human potential. The Empire State Building, a symbol of ambition and innovation, epitomizes the city's reach for the stars. Linking Manhattan and Brooklyn, the Brooklyn Bridge is more than just a passage, it's a historical landmark. The late 19th century was a time of great innovation and ambition. This was especially true in New York City where the idea was born to build an unprecedented bridge connecting Manhattan to Brooklyn. The Brooklyn Bridge, completed in the year 1883, is a testament to the bold vision of its creators, John Augustus Roebling and his son, Washington Roebling. Their vision was not merely to create a functional structure, but to build a symbol of unity and progress. 
The bridge's construction was a feat of engineering that took 14 long years, involving thousands of workers and considerable risks. Yet despite the challenges, the Roebling's determination never wavered. The Brooklyn Bridge was the world's longest suspension bridge when it opened. Its length is approximately 1.13 miles, and its towers rise majestically 276 feet above the East River. The use of steel for the suspension cables was a pioneering move, solidifying the bridge's place in history as a marvel of human ingenuity. But the Brooklyn Bridge is not merely a marvel of engineering, it's also a symbol of New York's spirit of unity and resilience. This iconic structure connects the bustling boroughs of Manhattan and Brooklyn, bringing together diverse communities and cultures. It's a silent witness to the city's evolution, standing tall amid the changing cityscape. Today, the Brooklyn Bridge is not just a transport link, but a destination in itself. It's a favorite spot for locals and tourists alike, offering stunning views of the city's skyline and a peaceful path for walking or cycling. Its gothic towers and sprawling cables against the backdrop of the sprawling city create a site that is quintessentially New York. Indeed, the Brooklyn Bridge is more than just a bridge. It's a symbol of the city's past, present, and future, a beacon of progress, and a testament to the human spirit's ability to create and overcome. The Brooklyn Bridge, a testament to human ingenuity, symbolizes the city's unity and diversity. As we cross the bridge, we arrive at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the cultural heartbeat of New York. The Metropolitan Museum of Art, fondly known as the Met, stands as an embodiment of the city's rich tapestry of culture and history. Established in the late 19th century, the Met has been a beacon of art, history, and education for over a century, housing an extensive collection of artwork that spans 5,000 years. Here, you'll find pieces from every corner of the globe, from the grandeur of Egyptian artifacts to the delicate intricacy of Chinese ceramics, the Met is a testament to humanity's creative spirit. It's not just a museum, it's a journey through time and space, a chance to marvel at the legacy of art and culture that has shaped our world. The Met's mission goes beyond preservation. It's also about fostering an appreciation for the arts, a goal it achieves through its myriad of educational programs. With daily tours, workshops, and lectures, the Met is an institution that actively promotes the exploration and understanding of art. But the Met is more than its collections. It's also a hub for cultural events. It hosts the annual Met Gala, a high-profile event that celebrates the intersection of fashion and art. The Costume Institute's exhibition is a highlight, showcasing the evolution of fashion from different eras and regions. The Met's influence extends beyond its walls. It has played a significant role in shaping New York's cultural landscape. With its outreach programs, it brings art to the community, making it accessible to everyone, regardless of their background. It's a vital part of New York's identity, reflecting the city's commitment to cultural diversity and inclusivity. As we step away from the Met, we carry with us a newfound appreciation for the arts. It's not just about the masterpieces that hang on the walls, but the stories they tell, the cultures they represent, and the conversations they spark. The Metropolitan Museum of Art, a treasure trove of world art, showcases the city's commitment to preserving and celebrating cultural diversity. Our journey ends at the United Nations headquarters, a global stage nestled in the heart of New York. This architectural marvel, rising majestically on the banks of the East River, has been the epicenter of global diplomacy since its completion in the mid-20th century. Imagine the world coming together in the aftermath of World War II, seeking a platform to foster peace and prevent future global conflicts. That vision led to the establishment of the United Nations in 1945, and by 1952, the headquarters in New York was ready to welcome the world. The United Nations headquarters isn't just a collection of buildings. It's a symbol of hope, a testament to humanity's collective aspiration for peace. It's here where world leaders convene to tackle the pressing issues of our times, from climate change and poverty to human rights and international security. But what makes this place even more significant is its role in shaping New York's identity. The city that never sleeps is also the city that never stops striving for a better world. The presence of the United Nations headquarters underscores New York's commitment to global unity and its status as a city of the world. This iconic institution has also been a cultural magnet drawing visitors from across the globe. They come not only to marvel at the architecture, but to experience the aura of international diplomacy. Here you can stand in the General Assembly Hall, where history has been written and rewritten, 
or stroll through the serene gardens, home to artworks gifted by nations worldwide. The United Nations headquarters is more than just a tourist destination. It's a living testament to our shared humanity, our global interconnectedness, and our relentless pursuit of a peaceful, prosperous world. And it all happens right here, in the heart of New York, a city that embodies the spirit of unity and diversity. The United Nations headquarters, a beacon of global unity, reinforces New York's status as a city of the world. As we conclude our journey, let's revisit the stories we've uncovered about New York. We embarked on this journey by recognizing the allure of New York, a city like no other, that has a unique charm and an irresistible pull. It's a city that never sleeps, where dreams are born, and where anything can happen. Our exploration began with the birth of New York, symbolized by the majestic Statue of Liberty. This beacon of freedom has welcomed millions of immigrants to America's shores, standing as a testament to the ideals of liberty, democracy, and the pursuit of happiness. The Statue of Liberty has been a source of inspiration and a beacon of hope for generations, reminding us of the enduring spirit of freedom. Next, we journeyed to the heart of the city, Central Park. An oasis amidst the concrete jungle, Central Park invites us to breathe, to relax, and to reconnect with nature. It's a testament to the city's commitment to providing green spaces for all, regardless of their social status or background. Our journey then took us to the crossroads of the world, Times Square. With its dazzling lights and constant energy, Times Square is a microcosm of the city itself. It's a place of constant movement and change, where the world converges, and where cultures blend seamlessly. The iconic Empire State Building was our next stop. Standing tall and proud, this architectural marvel is a symbol of human ingenuity and ambition. It has been a part of the city's skyline for over a century, reminding us of the city's resilience and its ability to reinvent itself. We then cross the Brooklyn Bridge, a gateway that connects two of New York's most vibrant boroughs. This iconic bridge is a symbol of unity and connection, embodying the spirit of New York as a city that brings people together from all walks of life. Our journey also led us to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the cultural hub of the city. From ancient artifacts to contemporary art, the Met is a treasure trove of human creativity and expression. It's a place where the past, present, and future coexist, inspiring us to see the world through different lenses. Finally, we arrived at the United Nations headquarters, the global stage where nations come together to discuss and resolve global issues. It's a symbol of cooperation and diplomacy, reminding us of New York's role as a global city that influences and is influenced by the world. New York, a city steeped in history, diversity, and cultural richness, awaits your visit. The city's story continues and you're invited to be a part of it.